So when I ran the benchmark for my G-Skill Trident C 16GB of 3200MHz, I did a comparison versus the other benchmarks that I have done, and oh boy, was I disappointed. I am a little bit sick right now, but I'm trying to make this commentary, this video. Guys, if you notice right here on the screen, I got the results of the benchmarks of the previous RAM that I have, you know, reviewed here and also ran the benchmark. If you look at the top left, we can see the jail 16 gigabytes at 3000 megahertz. In the middle, we got the dominator 16 gigabytes at 3000 megahertz. And to the right, we got the G skill Trident C at 16 gigabytes, 3200 megahertz. And well, if you also want to count at the bottom, we got the crucial ballistics 32 gigabytes at 2400 megahertz. So anyways, when I did the comparison of the benchmark, I noticed something odd, something different. My read, my write, and my copy speeds were a little bit slower. Now I started wondering why, if I am running 3200 MHz on the G Skill the Trident C. So I posted it on forums and stuff like that, and I know what you're gonna say right now. Well, have you noticed that the G Skill Trident C is a dual channel versus a quad channel? <laughs> Man, it completely went off the top of my head that I was running a dual channel. So anyways, with that out of the way, I said, wait a minute, so dual channel perform less than a quad channel? The answer is yes. And why is that? Well, with a quad channel, you got more bandwidth for better performance. So what is the con of running a quad channel? As an example, if you got your computer, if you got a C170 motherboard, and if you put a quad channel memory kit, pretty much you can't upgrade no more. That's it, you're stuck with, let's say 16 gigabytes, four by four, or 32 gigabytes, eight times four. But anyways, that is the con of running a quad channel. The pros of running a dual channel, let's say, you don't have the money to get, you know, the speed that you want, the gigabytes that you want. As an example, you want 32 gigs of RAM, but right now you only have enough for 16 gigs of RAM. What you do is, well, well, you know, as the obvious, you get 8 and 8, 16 gigabytes, and later down the road, whenever you save up a little more money, you can get another 2 sticks of 8, and that will give you 32 gigs of RAM. So that is the good thing of running dual channel. So with that out of the way, guys, that was my concern, that was my question, why I got less performance on my read, my write, and my copy, and I was kind of disappointed because, you know, 3200 megahertz versus 3000, but I wasn't counting that the GS trend and see as a dual channel and that is something that I have never really thought about but it's good to know so if you're questioning yourself should I get a quad channel uh, as an example yeah you can you're gonna get better performance you know better results and stuff probably not even going to notice it because until today i am still running the trident c on my x99 build now you know that this motherboard it's made for quad channel and i am running a dual channel and it's working perfectly fine i am not seeing loss in performance i am not seeing frames per second drop i am rendering videos and the ram is working perfectly fine so you probably are not even going to notice the difference all right and one thing before i end the video you may ask yourself well Sergio I got a motherboard that it says it's only dual channel I have purchased several motherboards that specify dual channel and I end up buying a quad channel kit as you could see on my previous benchmarks I got the Corsair Dominator that's a quad channel kit I got the Jill that's another quad channel kit and the crucial ballistics that's another quad channel kit and i have put them into a dual channel motherboard does it work perfectly fine yes i still don't know why these companies put right there on the specifications dual channel when in real life it works perfectly fine with a quad channel all right guys if you have any comments any questions leave them down below in the comment section I'll reply to you or someone else will. All right, guys, stay beautiful, stay awesome. This was your host, Sergio with Takeover Clock. I'll see you guys next time.